We haven't even seen gold and silver stocks get upgraded. Nobody is putting buys on stocks uh, that are holds. Uh, nobody is reiterating or raising their price targets. Everybody on Wall Street is oblivious to what's happening. I don't know if they're intentionally not noticing it or they just literally don't notice it because none of these stocks are on anybody's screen. Nobody even cares about gold and silver. Maybe they talk about Bitcoin and that's been a big distraction to prevent people with seeing what's happening in real gold because they've been fixated on fool's gold. Well, the smart money has been buying physical gold and silver underneath the radar. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that is on the minds of many investors and economic enthusiasts. We're breaking down the latest insights from renowned economist and financial commentator, Peter Schiff. In his recent video, Schiff offers a compelling analysis of the current economic landscape, focusing on inflation, the perceived strength of the economy, and the strategic importance of investing in precious metals, particularly gold and silver. So, buckle up and let's explore why Peter Schiff believes we might be on the cusp of a significant economic shift and how you can position yourself advantageously in these uncertain times. Peter Schiff begins by addressing a widespread misconception, the belief that we are currently experiencing a strong economy. According to Schiff, this perception is far from reality. He argues that the economic data we've been inundated with recently actually points to significant weaknesses. Despite Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's assurances that inflation is on track to return to 2%, Schiff contends that the only thing truly strong is inflation itself. Schiff highlights that prices are poised to rise even more rapidly in the near future than they have in the recent past. This inflationary trend, he asserts, is not being adequately acknowledged by the investment community. Before the market wakes up to this reality, Schiff advises taking proactive measures. Schiff is a strong advocate for investing in precious metals, particularly gold and silver. He emphasizes that now is the opportune time to buy these assets before the broader investment community catches on to their true value. Schiff's strategy extends beyond merely buying physical gold and silver. He is heavily invested in mining stocks. This is because owning mining stocks means owning the gold and silver that is still in the ground which these companies will eventually mine and sell at higher future prices. Over the past decade, physical gold has generally outperformed mining stocks. This discrepancy, Schiff explains, stems from investors' persistent skepticism about the precious metals rally. Many investors have been reluctant to buy gold and silver mining stocks due to a belief that prices will eventually fall, impacting future earnings negatively. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more expert insights and analysis. Let's get right into the latest interview with Peter Schiff as he gives us his gold and silver prices prediction. We have been overwhelmed with economic data recently of weakness in the economy. And Powell doesn't see that either. Everybody is delusional in thinking we have this strong economy and inflation is on track to return to 2%. We have a weak economy. The only thing that's strong is inflation. And prices are about to start to rise far more rapidly in the near future than they've been rising in the recent past. So the key is before the investment community wakes up to what's going on, you wanna buy precious metals. And if you look at the action in the mining stocks, which I'm very much involved in, I have most of my precious metal exposure personally in mining stocks. And that's because I'm so bullish on gold and silver that I want to own the companies that not only mine it, but that have it in the ground. Because when you own a mining stock, you own the gold and silver that is in the ground that the mines own, that they're going to bring out of the ground in the future when the price is even higher and they're going to sell it and they're going to make a ton of money. So I've been so bullish on gold and silver that I've loaded up on mining stocks. Now, over the last 10 years in general, buying physical gold has actually been better than buying the mining stocks. The reason for that is the entire rally investors have remained skeptical. They don't believe it. Investors expect gold and silver prices to fall. And so they don't want to buy uh, gold and silver mining stocks because they expect earnings in the future to fall because they think gold and silver prices are going down. 
This is the most unloved precious metals bull market in history, which means it's got a long way to go. It's not even close to a capitulation. What we need is the precious metals bears to capitulate. That has to happen. We need to see investors who have been shorting gold mining stocks or just avoiding them to buy them. Because even though the GDX and the GDXJ, which are indexes of gold and silver mining stocks, even though both of those indexes closed at 52 week highs today, they're a fraction of their all time highs. And the GDX was up a little over 3% today. GDXJ, maybe 4.5%. Those are big moves, but they're not nearly big enough considering what's going on, considering where the price of gold and silver are right now, where they closed, and where they're likely to be in the near future. Institutions are not buying these stocks. And what that tells me is that prices are going to keep rising until they do buy. Gold and silver prices, I think, are not going to have any meaningful correction that represents any kind of buying opportunity until the price is high enough to cause the bears to capitulate. And we're not even close to that moment. We haven't had big short covering. We haven't had a big influx of buying. Schiff describes the current precious metals bull market as the most unloved in history. Despite this, he believes it has a long way to go. For the bull market to reach its potential, Schiff argues that precious metals bears need to capitulate. This would involve short sellers covering their positions and a significant influx of new buying interest. Currently, institutional investors are not buying gold and silver stocks, which Schiff sees as a sign that prices will continue to rise until these investors start paying attention. He points out that even though indexes like the GDX and GDXJ have reached 52-week highs, they are still far below their all-time highs. This gap indicates significant potential for growth, a major distraction preventing investors from recognizing the value of precious metals, according to Schiff, has been the focus on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. He views Bitcoin as fool's gold and suggests that it has diverted attention from the real opportunities in physical gold and silver. We haven't even seen gold and silver stocks get upgraded. Nobody is putting buys on stocks uh, that are holds. Uh, nobody is reiterating or raising their price targets. Everybody on Wall Street is oblivious to what's happening. I don't know if they're intentionally not noticing it or they just literally don't notice it because none of these stocks are on anybody's screen. Nobody even cares about gold and silver. Maybe they talk about Bitcoin and that's been a big distraction to prevent people with seeing what's happening in real gold because they've been fixated on fool's gold. Well, the smart money has been buying physical gold and silver underneath the radar. And so I recommend that my clients take advantage again. The guys at Shift Gold are going to work all weekend so that you can buy before the open on Monday. Now, maybe gold's not going to take off, but you know what? Doesn't matter. You got to buy it anyway. But who knows? Something could be going on. Something big could be happening in Asia. And maybe, just maybe, while Americans are enjoying their Sunday, you're going to see an explosive rally. Uh, overnight, and they wake up Monday morning, and they're going to see much higher prices in gold or silver. I'd rather buy mine now and own it than be surprised uh, by not buying it and have that happen. Because even if it doesn't explode on Monday, you got it. I don't see significant downside from here. Maybe silver's never going back below 30. I don't know. Schiff advises his clients to act quickly and buy precious metals especially during weekends when market movements might go unnoticed. He suggests that significant events, particularly in Asia, could lead to overnight price surges, catching American investors off guard. Therefore, he recommends purchasing gold and silver before such potential market shifts. Schiff is adamant that the current prices of gold and silver will seem cheap in hindsight. He dismisses concerns about minor price fluctuations, emphasizing the importance of holding these assets for their long-term value. For instance, he believes that whether silver is bought at $1.29, $1.30, or $1.32 per ounce is irrelevant when it eventually reaches $1.100 per ounce. 
Schiff also highlights the significance of having physical gold and silver as a conservative store of value and a safe haven in times of economic uncertainty. He encourages investors not to wait for a pullback, as the downside risks are minimal compared to the potential upside. Uh, we have support just below there, but we're at 3150. What difference does it make? Again, when silver is at $100 an ounce, is it going to matter if you bought it at 31 or 29 or 28 or 32? No, it's not going to matter. What's going to matter is if it's at 100 and you still haven't bought it because you're waiting for a pullback. There's no reason to wait. Just call up. Uh, shift gold uh, and they will uh, recommend uh, or help you with the junk silver with the special that we have and of course you could buy anything you don't have to buy the junk silver special I just think that it's a great time to do it if you don't have some you should get some and if you have some it's an opportunity to buy more but you can also buy gold you know on this breakout it's a the first time ever closing above 2400 eventually 2400 dollar gold is going to be very cheap and so before it, it, it is, you want to buy it before we get a real expensive price. People think the current price of gold is expensive because they don't have the perspective. They're just looking in the rear view mirror and they're looking ahead at what the prices are likely to be in the future. And again, if you are more speculative, gold is a conservative store of value. It's a safe haven.